I put real food and beverages in there. Plop on a T-bone steak, whatever you want to do. But uh, it, it does matter how you pull on it. And, and they can give a couple of tips. And you might think it's a little steam here, Robinson. You just, you, you're seeing less. Good or bad? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't want to see them on there. And, and in your excitement in pulling this, a one, the two. Now remember, remember the trick is physics. Physics, that's the trick. And inertia. One, two. Now it's yellow, but <laughs> it's not that. He's 35 years old now. Right? <laughs> it's yellow because of age, not because of youth. Um, anyway, so so now you can ask your students, well, what's going to happen? You know, what's going to happen if I did this 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 cloth and a quick jerk, and it's all will uniformly say what? Well, just like the the little ball here, this is going to stay put in a cloth. Is, is, is you jerk that out real quick and it will stay there. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what happens. In, you know, you, zero is law. You've got to be skeptical of, of what's going on. You have to be careful. What they tell me. Now, what I do is this. I set up like this to say, okay, your job is to get the nut in the jar, and where do you get the jars? Well, you can use Franklin flaps with a wide open mouth, but what happens is you have a whole bunch of these nuts going down there. They're at the grave, and those are $30, 40 a pop. So I just went to the recycle bin, and uh, it turns out that champagne bottles work the best, but wine works good too. In fact, uh, real men love acorns. If you open up that cabinet door right behind you, you'll find uh, all kinds of empty bottles. And there's one with a red label on it. That one right there shows. I couldn't pass that one up. Tell everybody what that says. Gravity Hill? Gravity Hill. <laughs> <laughs> that was just destined to be uh, a, a, you know, an inertia demonstration bottle. So pass that one up. But anyway, what the students are, 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 uh, uh, have to do is set this up. And what I do is, is I mislead it by uh, going like this. What you want to do is grab this in such a way that the nut falls straight down in the chart. Because uh, if you do it like this, what's going to happen? The hoop is going to squish like this. The nut's going to go flying. So what you want to do is grab it on, not this side, but that's up. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that works sure well. That does. That generally doesn't happen. But here's a follow-up. Let them play around with this, and who knows? They might even learn some physics. But they'll certainly have some fun. And, and inertia won't be the intimidating word that it, it might have been. But this is a follow-up. I don't have my computer hooked up, but remember that on my website it said uh, videos. Okay, one of them is an antenna hoop. Oh, on the DVD, I think. The DVD that says Pablo's physics clip. One of them has this. Now, I'm going to attempt it, but I don't want to waste our, your time. Uh, I don't, I'm not always successful doing this. The hardest part is getting the... Uh, the pin. Yeah. Or a whiteboard marker.
about how the eggs are objects at rest. And if I'm able to get the paper towel, the toilet paper holder out from under the egg without putting any forces on them, then there'll be object at re objects at rest in the air, and then all they'll do is fall. And if this works correctly, then they should fall into the safety of the water bath there. And um, then it's also important to look really scared when you're doing it. Of all the demos I do, and of course if I say that it's not going to work, but this one is like really reliable to me. And I can get a student to get this right after like one practice round. Um, so, what else? Did he tell you in the table talk thing the most important thing is to pull down on the table talk? So this one, the most important thing is you have to get the high plate going horizontally and not upward on a diagonal, not downward on a diagonal, horizontally, which means you need to hit, what I'm going to do is this, and I'm going to um, hit, make sure that the room is basically vertical so that it hits high plate horizontally, high plate comes flying out, and there we go. And I think the noise is part of the fun of it, and the scared look on my face. Actually, I had the principal observe me once, and it happened to be this lab. 